Hi everyone, it's Raquel Bowman here and today I'm sharing my contribution to the Ultra New May blog hop. It's celebrating the new releases that Ultra New have. So what I'm showing you here is some of the products that I was sent. So I was sent a few stamp sets and some clear embossing powder. And I'm also using the Reflection Scrapbook Kit, which is available also in the Ultra New store. So what I decided to do for this page was create a layout um, that really the inspiration came from this pattern paper and it's a layout about my world and when I think of my world I think of my family and my friends and those loved ones closest to me. So what I decided to do was I'd recently taken some selfies of my kids and I and there I just absolutely adore any time that I manage to get them behind the camera. If I'm in them it's great because I'm not normally in photos so I really wanted to document these photos and I thought what better way than to showcase these photos using this gorgeous world pattern paper creating a layout titled my world or hashtag my world in this case and adding lots of pops of color and just making it bright and fun so what I've done is I've painstakingly fussy cut out the world map now I'll tell you the reason why I did that um, because I could have just used the background pattern paper but I'm a lover of white and the background of the pattern paper was a cream based paper so it just it wasn't going to work for me so I wanted to make it work for me so that meant fussy cutting it out my next step was that I really wanted to use that gorgeous striped painted look pattern paper with the rainbow stripes of colour on it and so I backed my photos on that to give that pop to my page that I was after and then what I decided to do was use the new halftone heart stamp set and I grabbed out some inks from my stash that matched those colours in that pattern paper. I've stamped them and then used the new clear embossing powder. It's called Crystal Clear over the top of them and then heat set them. What that does to the stamped images is it gave, it gave them a nice sort of sheen and finish and I felt like it sort of made them, once they were fussy cut out, look a bit like a die cut rather than... A flat sort of stamped image I guess so it just made them look that little bit fancier and yeah I really like the result in the end so here what I'm doing is just stamping a variety of hearts and I sort of kept to the smaller sizes because I knew that I wanted to scatter them around the photo and I didn't want them to be too big and bold then what I decided to do was there was a lot of cute little phrases within that stamp set as well. So this one I'm doing now with the jet black ultra new ink says hugs and kisses. And I thought that was really cute and perfect. And I just love the way that the embossing powder just transforms before your eyes when you heat set it. Um, and so what I've done also is stamped out an XOXO and also one that says something along the lines of um, I love your smile or I can't remember exactly what it says from here or oh, you make me smile so I've heat set those I've used the jet black ultra new ink and then I'm going to cut around those and apply those to the page and what I'm doing now is I'm sort of creating some clusters so I'll sort of make one to the top left of the photo where that hugs and kisses is going. I'll have another one around where that XOXO is and then I'll have another one when I add my title and journaling. So forming that triangle that I've been talking about and making sure that my page is nice and balanced. I did go through the rest of the reflection scrapbook kit just to see what I thought would work and although the globe and the colors in that worked perfectly I couldn't find a place for them on my layout so I didn't use that um, and what I've also grabbed out as well is some of those and you saw me fussy cutting those out the florals from 
one of the pattern papers. So the paper is a white base with just some black sketched florals and they're just gorgeous. I think I've used them on every page that I've made using this kit so far. What I've used as well is I have started or popped my title onto some wax paper and those alphas are in the reflections kit as well and I'll make sure to link to the old new store in the box below and the blog as well just so that you can see uh, or check those out if you wish to and I'm up to now adhering everything down so I've got to adhere my little um, pieces of my map just using some liquid glue for those smaller pieces and I just use my tape runner for the larger pieces and then what I'm going to do is add a little bit of foam adhesive under my photo and I did that just to help it pop off the page just that little bit more it's just the scotch foam tape so it's actually not overly thick but it gives enough dimension to to make it stand out that little bit so I apply that to my page and then I'm just using a little bit of liquid adhesive just to apply and adhere down those stamped sentiments that I have uh, stamped and embossed. Okay, so what I do once I've stuck on those photos, there's some little helper hands there you might have seen. Um, I've stuck on some my photos. I'm adding now and adhering down those clusters, so those fussy cut out flowers and the hearts and I'll work on scattering those hearts and I've tried to keep where the pink area of the paper is the pink ones and where the orange is the orange and the yellow and so on just to make it I felt like it would work better if I did it that way now I'm using my t-square ruler and I'm butting it up against the edge of the photo mat because the photo mat is on an angle so I wanted the title to go on that same angle so I've used my t-square ruler against there to make sure that's straight and then I'm adding a little floral down to the right of the title and then a chipboard arrow which was in the reflections kit which I'm adding some extra glue to because I'd moved it around the page a little bit and it had lost that tackiness. What I do do off camera which I haven't mentioned is I stitch around the border of the page and I also stitch through the title just to secure that down and finally like I do on most of my layouts I'm adding my journaling now through my typewriter so I didn't really journal a big detailed piece for this page um, but I've added my what I wanted to tell anyway and then I also will stamp out the date and pop that on as well using an alt new date stamp and that's pretty much the layout finished i'm really happy with the result i hope that i've inspired you today and that you've enjoyed my contribution to this blog hop don't forget to check the links down below just to see what you how you can take part and win some goodies and here's some close-ups so Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting my channel. Don't forget to give it a like or leave me a comment if you have any questions and I'll see you all soon. Bye everyone.